acanthoplasty or canthopexy. Hi, I have droopy downturned eyes. Look very tired, especially by the time I finish work. I look very tired and everyone keeps noticing that, which bothers me a lot. I went for a few consultations and was told that canthoplasty is the right procedure. But then my doctor told me that canthopexy is safer when something goes wrong or I don't like the results. Can someone tell me, please, what is better for me? I'm very confused. I want to have good results, such as almond shape, more exotic eyes. Thank you for your question. You're asking about looking tired and wanting to have more almond or exotic shaped eyes. Well, and I can tell you that as a specialist in cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgery, the terms that you're using, canthopexy and canthoplasty, is something that we actually um, do a lot of. And we perform these procedures specifically to help people have a more almond shape to their eyes. So when I look at your photos, I notice that your eye shape really already has an almond shape. In other words, the outer corner is higher than the inner corner, and it actually is a quite attractive, nice looking shape to your eyes. So I wonder to myself, when you're making this decision, how much higher you would want your outer corners to be. I can tell you that as a specialist, I've had to revise a good number of patients who have come to me who had unfortunately overdone appearance where the outer corners were elevated so high that it literally made them look unearthly, that they just didn't look right. And they were distressed, but they, they, the surgeon that did the procedure clearly did for them what they, they believed they wanted, the patient wanted. So you have to answer the question for yourself, how many millimeters higher would you like your eyelid outer corner to be? And will it have the impact that you believe it should have in the appearance of looking tired? Very often, the appearance of looking tired is multifactorial. There are many reasons why someone can look tired. It can be a combination of pigmentation, under eye hollowness, the skin quality starting to look dull. And so, sometimes when people lift their eyelid skin and they do this type of action, they're tightening the skin and they like the way the skin looks tighter. And if it looks tighter, then is that really what your goal is? So, the, the key for you is to understand what, how much higher you want to make the eyelid go. And I can share with you that, you know, the body gives you a certain amount of permission to enhance what nature has already provided you. And once you go beyond that, then very often that creates a truly plastic look. This is what unfortunately is, has become what people think of first when they think of the field of cosmetic or plastic surgery, is that they see all the magazines, they see the people that walk around in the malls and see them in the restaurants, and they know that they had plastic surgery and they get this plastic look. And as someone who is, pot you could potentially have that if you overdo the outer aspect of your eyelid. I think you need to continue doing your research and perhaps even entertain doing some non-surgical procedures and also consider what are the other factors that could be making you look tired. I, I try to think very holistically in that I feel that lifestyle and diet and exercise have a critically important role in the appearance and an individual's appearance. And I, I can tell, I counsel my patients, especially those who smoke or don't get enough sleep, that you really can't enhance a person's appearance if internally or if their, if their lifestyle is, some, is too toxic or is too draining. 
So even the best looking procedure can not look as good as it can if someone's lifestyle is not um, optimized. So think about that before you make your decision between a canthoplasty or a canthopexy and also look at your eyes in isolation. Take your own photos and look at them, look at the eye shape close up and realize that the outer corner is higher than the inner corner and with that comes a natural almond shape that I think already looks pretty good. So I hope that my uh, perspective is helpful to you and uh, thank you for your question.